Richard Allen was born enslaved as Richard the Negro on February 14, 1760. At age seven, he and his family were sold to a Delaware farmer. Here, Allen worked as a field hand. By the age of 17, his family was separated and Allen would never see them again. Around this time, he had a spiritual awakening, converted to Methodism, and joined the local Methodist society. There, he attended classes on a weekly basis and learned to read and write. His owner, Stokely Sturgis, took notice of his slaves going to church and further encouraged it. Sturgis himself would later convert to Methodism and allowed his slaves to eventually purchase their freedom. And in 1780, at the age of 20, Richard the Negro purchased his freedom for a sum of $2,000 and took upon the last name Allen. As a freedman, Allen worked as a woodcutter and drove a salt wagon to support himself. Traveling throughout the region, Allen also preached the gospel to both blacks and whites in New York, New Jersey, Maryland, and Pennsylvania. He later settled in Philadelphia, joined the St. George's First Methodist Church, and began preaching there in 1786. His sermons attracted so many black parishioners to the church that it became a problem the white leadership of the church began discriminating against black attendees by restricting their movements and placement throughout the church. Dissatisfied with this unequal treatment, Allen and others left the church in 1787 and formed the Free African Society. The Free African Society became a place of communion to support the local black community, as well as a mutual aid society that assisted fugitive slaves and new immigrants. They also held classes to teach blacks to read and write. The congregation soon amassed enough funds to purchase land and built the Bethel African Church, which later became the Mother Bethel African Methodist Episcopal Church. As it stands today, the AME Church is the oldest property in America owned by African Americans. In 1799, Allen became the first African American ordained in the ministry of the Methodist Episcopal Church. And in 1816, the AME Church elected Allen as its first bishop. Richard Allen was perhaps one of the most influential black leaders during the 18th century, and his works and legacy continue to live on to this day.